All right, so I haven't really done the new Xeno and GT Trunk Dokkan Awakens on Dokkan in depth, so I figured this is gonna be a good day to do it. So let's go ahead and talk about the cards. First off, they link with each other for four key links uh, overall. Uh, I will be talking about essentially the card review, how to Dokkan them, and then some good linking buddies or teams that you could run them on. So let's go ahead and talk about that. Uh, first off, all of them really have a lot of linking buddies just from four and above as you see in the gt trunks he has a whole bunch of different cards he can link with and the same thing with the xeno trunks he has a whole bunch of cards essentially they have very very common link skills so they are going to become they're going to come in handy for you if you are a newer player they're going to be very viable on a super saiyan team because they're going to be linking with essentially a lot of the units so their chances are you're going to have at least one unit they're going to link very well with unless you just started the game and you just pulled them so let's go ahead and talk about the cards first. First off, the uh, GT Trunks Experience and Growth, Super Saiyan Trunks GT. Uh, we're not going to go over too in-depth on this. He just does extreme damage. Passive skill is tech and strength type key plus two. He doesn't have a, a lot of good link skills. He has Super Saiyan Royal Lineage, Super uh, Saiyan Warrior Race, Cold Judgment, and GT. And he has very minimal stats, so the stats kind of suck, but they're very old school. I mean, he's an SSR with extreme damage, guys. I mean, don't you can't expect too much. He has a 12 key multiplier of 140%, which is a little bit of a saving grace for him, but the fact of the matter is he does still does extreme damage. He token awakens with three Trunks medals from the GT event from level 3, Planet Gelbo, and Zunama. Um, this is the Dragon Ball GT Black Star DB Saga. And so, like, look, this is what it's going to look like, the one with Baby on it and Roldo. So go ahead, level 3, grind out uh, uh, three of them, and you can token awaken him. When he token awakens, he's actually pretty damn good. Uh, earn it, um, earned Trust, Super Saiyan Trunks GT. His leader abilities recover 1,500 HP per key of characters type it gained. That's still really not viable. You know, I don't like that leader ability. I don't see it being used too much. Super attack is Finish Buster. causes supreme damage to the enemy, so he gets a supreme damage modifier instead of extreme, which I like that a little bit better. Um... Raises defense by 30% for six turns. Uh, you guys know that I don't like that that uh, six turn buff, but it's for defense. So the thing is about him, uh, as you see, his passive skill, quick wit, tech, and strength type key plus two attack and defense plus 25%. Um, he's a support unit guy, so he's probably going to be on rotation unless you lack good units. And this is one of the few that you have. He's probably going to be on rotation for you um, on either a technique team or a strength team. Uh, he's it's really not going to be too viable in my opinion. You know, I, I don't see you have running him primary uh, so if you do have him though and you're going to run him as a secondary unit at least he will get himself a little bit of a stat buff so when the enemy attacks last uh, he will at least start to tank some damage he has some good link skills now though super saiyan royal lineage saiyan warrior is called judgment and gt like normal but he gets prepared for battle at it which is really good and shattering the limit so he helps out a lot shattering the limit depends on the type of team you're running shattering the limit does help out with key for non super fierce battle link skill buddies um, but prepared for battle is definitely overall really good. Um, max stats now are HP of 8722, attack of 7114, and defense of 5408, and still 12 key multiplier of 140%. Overall, not a bad unit. Um, this is going to be uh, all the non-technique type linking buddies that he has um, on the, in the game right now. Uh, the reason why not technique is I'm going to do a mono one. So essentially, these are just guys he will link with. Now, this Vegeta is an extreme type, so he's probably not going to link that well with him because I don't see you guys running or anyone running this Vegeta on a mono hero team. I don't know why this one's like extreme at all. It doesn't really make sense to me. I know he Vegeta wasn't always a good guy, but by the time he became a Super Saiyan, I mean, I, I don't know. I guess this is like Android Saga, but I, I think there might have been at least one other card in here from Android Saga where he was super. I don't know. But anyway, he does link with him. I don't know when you're ever going to use it. Maybe if you're running a Mass Saiyan Bardock team and you have these two Super Saiyans, you can link them with each other. But he links with the LR and TUR Trunkses, uh, both of those different variants. It's TUR and the LR are just different variants of each other. So he links with them for five key links um, each, which is Super Saiyan Call Judgment, King Bloodline, or Royal Lineage, uh, att uh, Attitudes of Attitude, Prepared for Battle, and Breakthrough Limit. So that's what... Four, five key right there. Five key, a defense buff of 20% and an attack buff of 10%. So these two link very, very well with each other. And then you also have this Agility Vegeta. Uh, he is a physical and strength type. Um, I believe key plus three, HP attack and, uh, HP and attack plus 30% up. Uh, he's still not going to do that well with the technique one, but uh, overall you can link these guys together. All of them except for this physical Vegeta are super types, so you could technically run like these three on a super team or just these two on a super team, and they'll be good. some good linking buddies right there. Um, 
Let's see, on the Mono Technique team, these are all the guys that he links with. Essentially, the top three are Vegeta's. He links very well to Vegeta's. Um, this is, I believe, an extreme Vegeta, though. Uh, these two are both um, uh, super Vegeta's, uh, or, or good Vegeta's, if you will. And he links with them pretty well at five links apiece on the Technique team. And then for four, he links with the two Super Saiyan Gokus. Uh, one of them Super Saiyan 2, the other is just Super Saiyan. So you could run him on a mono uh, technique team, and he will be viable not only from his passive skill, but because he links very well with everyone, and he has prepared for battle. So I did want to go into the strength team as well, just because, as I stated before, he is technique and strength type. So on a strength team, he does link with a couple buddies. Uh, obviously the Vegeta. Now this is the Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. He is the one that everyone really likes. He's a pretty damn good unit. And when he gets his Doken Awakening, he is attack plus 70% up uh, when he is 6 or more. So, and he has all the linkings with, sh with Shattering the Limit, so he'll always be getting a super attack off. This Goku is really still not that great. I, I don't see him being very viable. He is, um, I think he's a flat out boost passive skill of like attack plus 9,000. So overall, unless you don't have anyone else, he's still not going to be that great. Uh, this Vegeta is from one of the, uh, I think this is either from the Evil Power Strike Back event, um, uh, the, the Hero Extermination Plan event. Or it was from the actual Vegeta event. One of them has um, Super Vegeta like this. And either way, he's the SR that Doken or Z awakens to an SSR. Not very good. The Trunks is another decent one because like these two actually link very well together. So he is going to stack buff on these two guys very, very well. So um, you can link him with these guys if you want. I don't really know when you're going to have him on a team with these guys. Unless you're running like a, a Heroes team, I guess and you have strength and technique types on that team only maybe uh, who knows or like a mass and bardock have him on the team and you do mass and bardock with strength and technique types but i just want to say that these two are good characters that he links with and his passive skill helps them out a little bit so um, that's just something to keep in mind now i'm gonna go over the xeno trunks real quick um he doesn't he has a lot of linking buddies so i'm not gonna go over all the different teams i'm just gonna talk about his mono agl team um, overall, let's talk about who he is as a card. First off, uh, Critical Mission, Super Saiyan Trunks Xeno is his base form. Leader skill was the agility type attack plus 50%. Who here remembers when the mono type attack plus 50% was actually really good? I remember when Bojack was out and he was attack plus 50% for strength types. He was just freaking nuts. Everyone was hitting like crazy. Uh, super attack, burning attack, causes supreme damage and raises attack for three turns. Uh, so the supreme damage wasn't as bad as the other one. Passive skill was sense of responsibility, attack plus 40% at the start of the turn, wasn't horrible. Um, not, not going over link skills, too many. HP of 89-40, attack of 76-79, and defense of 38-43. Horrible defensive stat. Um, he Doken Awakens, though, with 12 of the Xeno Trunks medals from the, well, the Awakening Medals Warrior Mark from the Strike event. So you can go ahead into the Space Time Traveler event, uh, grind them out early, guys, on the global side. I will definitely be doing that. I didn't realize that it was 12 of them, so I'm going to be grinding them out at six runs right now since we have the double medal drop that's going on um, for the 200 million download celebration. Um, so go ahead and grind that out. He also has a 12 key multiplier of 130%. Now, when he Doken Awakens, he's actually not a, he's really not a bad unit at all. Um, my internet, well, my browser keeps on reloading everything because there's too much data over here for it to hold everything. Uh, Guidance of Time, Super Saiyan Trunks Xeno. He has a decent leader ability, uh, agility type key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 40%. So he's really not that bad of a leader, guys. If you have him, he Doken Awaken him for sure. Super attack, burning attack, causes supreme damage to the enemy and raises attack for six turns. Again, as you know, I don't like that uh, that that turn-based attack buff, but it's cool. You know, he definitely gives himself a little bit more damage out, but because of that, passive skill, righteous uh, indignation, key plus two, attack plus eighty percent at start of turn. So not bad as a passive skill. He is very self-reliant with that, uh, and he's going to hit a lot harder. Unfortunately, you know, no immense damage though. But he has supreme damage, so it's not horrible. Link skills are patrol, call judgment, golden warrior, prepare for battle, super saiyan, xenoverse, and shattering the limit. Now, xenoverse is a throwaway link along with patrol and for somewhat gold, cold judgment. But he has golden warrior, prepared for battle, super saiyan, and shattering the limit. Shattering the limit depends on the team you're running, but overall, these are really good link skills. He has new stats of HP of 9664, attack of 8205, and defense of 4071. Not bad at all, and his 12 key multipliers at 135%. Really wishes 140%, that would make him a little bit more viable, but I guess with his passive skill of being 80% and him raising his own attack, they didn't really need to do all of that. Um, he is someone who I can say, if you're lacking good agility units, you would probably keep him on your main rotation, not off rotation. So, overall, a good unit. 
So this is Xeno Trunks. This is the actual mono agility team that he runs. You could honestly run this team because <laughs> they link very well with each other and they have really good... They link very well together. So let's talk about it. Uh, this Vegeta could be your uh, leader. He has the you know, essentially agility type key plus three, HP attack plus 30% up. It's small, but it has physical and agility. So he can meet the physical, I mean, the, the agility attack buffs, right? Then you have this Gohan and this Goku. These guys are your floaters. These guys are your off rotation cards. They give agility type attack buff. Uh, this one is more situational. His buff comes when HP is 50% or above. This is how I would run it. I would run the Vegeta and the Trunks together. I would run this Goku and this Goten together because they link very well together and they have a t good attack buffs. And then these guys on rotation. And then you could either throw uh, another Vegeta on here for a leader if you, if you have a friend with that or um, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta or you could throw on like Super Vegeta. Whatever agility friend leader you find, you could throw them on there and this will be a very, very solid team. They link very well with each other. Overall, none of these units are weak at all. They all link well. They're very good. Solid team. Solid team overall. This, you could actually run a lot of events. Maybe not like the newer... Uh, maybe not the, the 120 events. I don't see you being able to run with this team. Maybe the 70% uh, events. Uh, the 7% leader ability uh, events uh, you could run. And I don't see the 120s being able to run. But overall, very, very good team. Very solid team. And he links with all these characters very well. So just keep that in mind. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to go over that. Thank you for joining me here today. Let me know your thoughts below. Uh, do you guys have any of these Dokken? Because I don't, because I don't have either of them on my JP account. But, you know, as I showed you here, they are very good cards. They have good linking abilities, well, good linking characters, um, and they could form pretty damn good teams. So go ahead, hit that sub button if you're new, and I'll catch you guys later.